Having that, said that, one may ask about why to use, why to have that relative error. Um, in principle, there's no real reason for that, but um, the talking about errors and what humans can feel defining those errors. So comparing errors means for the absolute error, comparing real error values, meaning we have an error of two ampere or we have an error of two milliampere. Okay, sounds, sounds awesome right away. But now compare that to another measurement with an error of 2.5 ampere or 2.5 milliampere. So which measurement is the better one? Yeah, one, one would assume the measurement with the 2 ampere error is the better one, but perhaps it's part of a measurement which measures real high cur currents, like 5,000 or 6,000 amperes. And the other error is part of a measurement which measures real small currents. And now that brings in a little difference because measuring a value of 5 ampere plus minus plus minus 2 ampere is something different than measuring a value 5000 ampere plus minus 2.5 ampere. So the error in the latter case is larger, but the former case had such a small value, it's, it's like half, half of the value is error, like 5 ampere plus minus 2 ampere. That sounds bad. That really sounds bad. And now our relative error gives us a glimpse for that.